hey YouTube, this is Resumes from Target Fans and YouTube. Here are some WWE wrestlers I think should be sent back to NXT. Now, please note this. One, this is just my opinion. And two, you don't have to agree with this. You don't want. First, um, and these are two, is Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan. Now you're thinking to yourself, why? They're both extremely popular. While that is true, I'm going to start with Liv Morgan at first. It's just the way she has been booked over the past several months has been atrocious. Now, while she did have those two uh, SmackDown title reigns um, last year, well, one title reign... So, anyway, the problem with it is, it's just, since she lost her title at Wrestle Extreme Rules last year, her booking has been atrocious. It's just, like, she's tried to go on for this, like, crazier character. Um, but the problem with it is, it's just, since she tries to be extreme. But the problem with it is, it's it's not getting her anywhere. Um, and so the, that is one of the main problems. So I have two options for this. Either send her to Raw and have her a fresh start there. Or send her back to NXT. Because at least with NXT, she can compete with... Some of the current crop of stars down there, and then have her come back up again. Now with Alexa, uh, there are two reasons to this. One, um, the thing Alexa has not won in her career has been a uh, NXT Women's Title. So to say that you won the NXT Women's title along with the SmackDown Women's title and the Raw Women's title is something to say. Um, there are very few stars in the company that can actually say they have done that. Um, the only two that come to mind is Bailey and uh, Charlotte. Next, the other reason is too is that will also help her with certain moves. Because the problem is with her character now. She can only do a handful of moves. So I feel like going back to NXT will help her out as far as getting her the right move set. Next person is Zia Lee. Now, the, the reason why I say Xia Lee is because since she came up last year, I, I, I think it was in June, May or June of last year, the problem has been she's not been used hardly much at all. Um... And when she has been used, it's mostly been used for like one or two matches. She's not really had a proper feud since she's came up. Um, and that is one of the biggest problems. Next is Emma. Now, you're thinking to yourself, she just came back to WWE back in October. Yes, but here's the thing. Since she's came back, she's never really had a proper feud. She's had some matches here and there, but she's never had like a proper feud in in the company. Um, now, she sort of had like a mini feud versus Scarlet uh, around the Rumble time, but other than that, that's really about it. The next person you can say on this as well is Aaliyah. Now, you're thinking to yourself, she just came up uh, the, the last year sometime. That's true. But like Emma, 
she's never had a a proper feud. Now, the, she's had matches here and there, and the only mini feud she's had since she came up was that feud for like three or four weeks versus Natalia, where she had won. Um, where she won, I think it was like two of them in a row, maybe three. Um, but that's really about it. Next, um, Tegan Knox. Now, Tegan just came back not long ago. <sighs> but, like, the trend in this video, she's not really had a proper feud. Um, she teamed up with Liv Morgan uh, to try to win the SmackDown Women's title. Um, and they lost. Uh, and basically, the only she's had with Liv Morgan was versus Damage Control. Uh, right around the Rumble, I think it was. Now. I realized you cannot book everybody on the show. Because if you did that, the show would be extremely long. You have fans' interests go out the door, um, and so forth. But what I think they should do is this. If they know they're going to need, let's say, 50 wrestlers for the show that night, they need to have all those wrestlers come in and then have the others that aren't booked, either stay home, um, do house shows, uh, do go to NXT, something. Um, but that is one of the main problems since Triple H has come back is the fact that he's brought back all these stars. Um, you can see my opinions from worst to best. But... That is one of the main problems is because he's brought back so many people and brought up a good amount too that I it's hard to book every one of them every week. And with Triple H basically scrapping the whole 24-7 uh, title uh, a few months back, um, that gives probably about 20 or 25 wrestlers nothing to do except sit in catering. So, because at least with the 24-7 title, that gave them some airtime. While it may not have been a lot, at least it gave them some. Um, so, that is the thing. Um, but... And now there's talks of WWE trying to get Jay White and Kenny Omega to come in. Um, first of all, if they do, good luck to them. But the main problem with that is, is you're just going to get yourself in a bigger hole. Um, now... With NXT, the problem with that is NXT is only a two-hour show. But by the time you add commercials in, you're looking at around 90 minutes, give or take. So, and you have all these wrestlers every week. So, that is the main problem. But, um, I would like to hear from you. Uh, who do you think should go back to NXT or switch to Raw or SmackDown um, and why.